Hi Jonathan, uh, we are back at Caplow on Saturday, we host Partick Thistle here, uh, can I just get your thoughts on the match please? It's another game that um, it's a tough tough game against a side that, that had aspirations to, to bounce right back uh, uh, in this league and, and they had to start that well and they had a change of management uh, which makes it very tricky to, to predict how they're going to go. Uh, they got a big squad and, and uh, the manager's been in now for a few weeks and, and it changed it around a lot. So again, because we don't know that, it's, it's about focusing on ourselves uh, more than our opponents this time, I think. You mentioned the new management team there. It's Gary Caldwell, Brian Kerr. A young management team, a bit like yourself. Do you identify uh, with Gary in that situation and just coming into uh, yeah. management at a young age? Yeah, but uh, Gary's been experienced uh, from down south already, so he's... he's uh, uh, it's been a manager for a while, so it's a little bit different. But but yeah, it's a, it's a tough challenge to come into a, a club outside a window, you know, when when uh, when uh, who's, who's uh, not been doing as as well as they they, they expected as a club. So it's a, it's a difficult job, and it's it's uh, something that that why I think that there might be changes again in the, in his lineup and maybe even his formation. For you guys, it's the third game in seven days. Obviously, Ross County away, uh, Queen of the South away. You'll be glad to to be back at home again after the, the travels it was a tough travel and, and uh, you know three points was good for these two games I, I think uh, uh, and uh, you know the fitness wise it's it's hard on our squad because we we, we have quite a, a lot of fitness issue in the last few weeks uh, so it's a hard one and it's, it's, it's one we have to really look at coming into this game because we want fresh legs again I think the changes that Queen of the South worked for us uh, because of that and I felt the team was, was refreshed because of it and and Again, now with the third game, there will be players that might need, uh, might not be able to play uh, for various reasons. You changed the system. You went five three two. Yeah. Is the temptation to stick with that because you achieved success, or because it's a different game? It's a home game, and you tempted to change. Uh, I always look which the best formation from from our team first of all, and then then you go from there. But you have to take into consideration uh, players available. Uh, you know what can hurt the opponents and, and how to uh, stop the opponents uh, dangers you know so you always look at all three things and I, we talked about that before it's a decision I will have to make but because it's so many w games in a week because you don't really have that much to, to time to train on the pitch uh, because the place needs recovery it's a decision I will make late uh, late again this uh, after Fridays after tomorrow's training so so uh, uh, I think I know but but it's something I have to be open to, to change from now to the game. Could injuries play a part in that? We yeah. know that Reese Lyon looks as if he's going to miss out. Could could that be it's it's part of your thinking? Yeah, one hundred percent. Of course, uh, it's it's uh, in certain areas we're we're very well covered. In certain areas, at the moment, we're not. Uh, and uh, Reese obviously had a bit of a problem after the game, and uh, and uh, we'll assess him. And and he had a good game, so it's a shame. Uh, but we'll assess him as a young player, so we need to be careful as well because it's a totally different environment. Uh, to play 90 minutes in the in, in the championship than to, to play in the reserves, so so uh, he's one that that we will monitor closely to the end. What was the injury, uh, Jonathan Midrich? He was uh, just a swelling up knee. I think it's more to do with with as I said the toughness of of the test and and, and uh, you know the, the the pitch down there is, is is tough on your on your on your muscles and your knees. So we're hoping that it's just uh, a flare up, uh, but it's something as I said do because we don't know yet. We have to monitor it. If he misses out, that must be quite disappointing, just in terms of how well Reese did on Tuesday and then a next follow up with a home game after scoring the winning goal. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, and uh, but it's something you always have to be with player development, with young players coming in. You, it's something you have to have in back of your mind. Ideally, uh, ninety minutes is uh, is, a, is a tough task for a young player, and 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 uh, I'm la I'm I'm very <laughs> happy that I kept him on the pitch for at least eighty four minutes. But it's uh, it's something that that. You know, if you have a, a a fit squad, that you might do changes earlier in the game. Uh, but I felt he played really well, and I wanted him on the pitch. Uh, so, so it's a, it's a shame if he misses out, and then, then it is a shame. In terms of the injury situation, how is it looking at the moment? Has Chris Miller got a chance of being back? He's got a chance, uh, but he hasn't trained since the game, so it's it's, it's going to be a touch and go for him. It's going to be, uh, you know, a touch and go for for Robert Thompson. He played in reserves. Uh, it's one that we're talking about with Fusio, is, is he fit enough to come with the bench? So we got a lot of maybes at the moment, which is normal, which is totally normal in, in, a, in a three game week. Uh, in, uh, 
as I said, that's why I'm making quite late decisions uh, on, on on everything this week. I take it the rest are just the same then. Scott, Tiffany, um, Connor yeah. Bell, yeah. Danny Johnson. Yeah, they're all out. Uh, definitely out. With Reese scoring the winning goal, he sort of grabbed the headlines, but Bob McHugh scored again. That's his fifth goal of the season. I think mm-hmm. he's obviously scored the winner against Falkirk. Yeah. He scored again uh, the opening goal on, on Tuesday night. Bob's someone who seems to be doing quite well for you at the moment. Do, doing really well. And then the, he had a time out. And I think it's sometimes good. You know, the players want to admit it, but to freshen up and, and to refocus. Uh, and, and, and Bob did well when he came on and now he, he got his chance to start and score again. And I think they played really well with Gary. They held the ball up really well. Uh, it's difficult sometimes alone to, to, to hold the ball up, which was the case for Gary up in, 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 in Dingwall. And I think with Bob there, uh, did really well. And Bob is what sometimes the fans don't see, all fans don't see. He's very good defensively. He's, he's a clever player defensively and he helps the midfield a lot uh, in the defensive side of things. And I thought he had a good game. He got his goal, but I thought he had a really good game otherwise. Uh, so, so hopefully he'll, he'll keep that going. You touched on the fact you played two strikers. Is that something you see is quite an important part of the tactics on Tuesday that sort of got you the uh, result? I think every game is a little bit different. You can play with one striker if you get the support needed. And, and you also have to look where is the weaknesses and strength of the opponents there. Uh, I think with two strikers, uh, you know, playing... You hold the ball up better, uh, you know, for the opponents. You can isolate the centre half one against ones with a striker, uh, which is good uh, in and around the box. And because I had Reese as one of the midfielder, he's got the legs and legs, and, and he's naturally one that wants to get into the box and join in. You actually got three players in the box all the time, which makes us more dangerous. Uh, I think we were disconnected at Ross County, uh, really disconnected too far. We never got support to Gary, so so that's why one of the reasons why I made the change. You were telling me a story about Bob. Um, your son, um, Jonathan Jr., was singing a song on uh, Saturday night after the Falkirk game. Can you tell us a little bit about that? No, Bob? he came home and, and uh, he was singing the Bob the Biller song, which which he's too old for that now, but he was changing it over to McHugh, that he fixes things. So it was funny once. I thought it was a fan song, but I checked with you, so supposedly not, so maybe something he, he made up. But he was pleased for me that we, we, we got the win and, and uh, that Bob keeps going. So is, is Bobby's favourite player then? No, I don't know. It changes every week, you know, what kids are like. So it's the same with me. It changes every week. <laughs> um, just in terms of a uh, party Thistle game, what do you look for from the team now after Tuesday night? Is it consistency? Is it to bring that level again? Yeah. Make sure it doesn't drop below it? The disappointing thing this season is that every time you think you, you, you sort of move forward, we get a massive step back. It's happened twice already, like a spectacular fall from Grace, if, you, if, if, if I can say that. But uh, So we need to have trust, trust that, that we're going to get that at least, and you're not going to win every game in this league, uh, but you're going to have to put that basic performance in. I keep saying that, that fight, that togetherness, that shape, uh, communication, uh, hard work, defending the boxes, everything that, that, that has to be there. And then sometimes you play a little bit better than, than other times, and then, but, but our falls have been too deep, so we need to get the, the minimum level up, and that's that's what we're doing. And we have to get that minimum level up, and I think if we do that, we're a good team, and we, we will create chances, we will score goals. Uh, if we don't, if we think it's going to happen by itself, we look a poor side. So the challenge to the players now is to 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 take the minimum level from the, from the Queens game, from the Falkirk game, from other games as well, than the United game, and bring that into every game. And I think we will be all right. Excellent, Jonathan. Thank you very much for your time and good luck against Party Thistle on Saturday. Thank you very much.